my name is Kylie. I'm from. I'm a sophomore at Gothenburg High School. That's rough, buddy. And this is friends. My biggest fear is not having any friends, but in reality, I have many. And though they may not be the best of friends, I know that in a bad situation, I can always count on them. Depression and I go way back. I've known her since I was eight. I met her after my parents' divorce. I saw this mysterious girl who looked to be about my age. She had this black, onyx-colored hair that was as thin as paper. Her eyes were a vibrant gray that looked like all the emotions in her were drained out. Her clothes were simple, a white tank top under a gray hoodie and a pair of black leggings. She was deathly pale and as thin as a twig. To this day, I still talk to depression every day, and we have the same conversation about my physique and my intelligence. A couple years later, when I turned 12, I met this guy you could label as a bad boy. We just call him insomnia. He wore a black leather jacket and ripped up jeans. He had this trashy spiked mohawk that was dyed green and blue. He's always wearing sunglasses, even during the night for unknown reasons, so I've never seen his eyes. He told me, sleep is for the weak, and nothing good ever came from going to sleep, just bad dreams and nightmares. Every night I talked to insomnia, and he would sometimes bring depression along. My last friend I met the other year, it was late at night with depression and insomnia, and a special guest upon their request. That night, I agreed, and she showed up insanely fast. I didn't even notice her standing there. She just appeared out of thin air. She inserted herself into our conversation like she was the missing part. Suicide is by far the most beautiful of all my friends. Her long, flowing hair that's almost pure white shines in the moonlight. Her emerald eyes complement her pale complexion. Her skin tone resembled that of white construction paper. She wore a simple white sundress and gray knee-high socks. She looked so innocent. She showed me a solution to a problem that wasn't that big. My hand was the gun and the pills were the bullets. I lost count of how many times I shot myself. All I know is that I woke from a dark abyss to a bright light and hear a faint beeping sound. I opened my eyes and I saw them standing there, my enemies. <laughs>